Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at dates. So in Visual Basic, there is a class called date, and you can create objects of that and use that to get the current date. You can also format this in several different ways. So we're just going to make a little uh, demo application that will show us what we can do uh, with some of the date functions. So we'll select Windows Forms application and we'll set the name to date. And once that's loaded, we'll come over here to our toolbox and we will add a button. So we'll just resize this a little bit. And we'll set the text of button one to show date. And we will set the name to button show date. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and double click on show date. So what we can do is zoom in here a little bit first. So what we can do is create an object of the date class. So we'll go ahead and type dim current date as, and then we type date. And if you read the description, it says, represents an instant in time typically expressed as date and time of day. So it will go ahead and get the um, time, that the current date, uh, the year, the month, the minutes, the hours, the seconds, every part of the time it's going to get that. So we'll go ahead and set that equal to a value. So current date equals now. So you can see it says uh, public read-only property now as date returns a data value containing the current date and time according to your system. So it's going to go ahead and get the uh, date and time uh, on the user system. So whatever machine it's running on, it's going to get their time and it's not going to use a specified time. Now you, So let's go ahead and output the, uh, the current date in a message box. So we'll type message box dot show and we will just take our date and convert it to a string. So current date dot to string, and we'll just go ahead and set the title to date application. Now let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So here's our form, and when we click show date, it gives us May 9th, 2011 at 7.01 uh, p.m. and 8 seconds. So if we keep clicking this, you can see that it updates um, according to the um, current time because every time we click it it creates a new date and sets it to now so if we click it it's got 28 seconds wait a couple seconds click it again and it's got 31 now what we can also do is we can convert the current date to uh, another format so let's say you don't want the month the day the year and everything in there so what we can do is we can type current date dot two short time string. So what this is going to do is going to convert it to a short time string. And what that means is that it's just going to show the time, 7.01 p.m. Now there are many other things that you can do with this. You can do dot to long time string. Let's go ahead and run this. We'll click show date and we get the seconds as well as the uh, hour and minute. And you can see that it does not update in real time. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and we can go ahead and look at some of the other stuff that we can do so if you just type a dot you can see that we've got two short time string two short date string uh, two zero a date uh, two long time string and two long date string date uh, string so you can go ahead and um, play around with those see what those do see what happens uh, when you type those in and uh, once you've practiced a little bit with dates and date objects Go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.